Hey, this is Barbara. We're at the Farm to Table Tour here in Athens, Ohio at the Farmer's Market, and I'm here with Sherman Fantroy. And it was his idea to bring Toyota here and to put this event together. So I want to know how you came up with this idea because it's fantastic. Well, it's just not my idea. Um, I, we work for an engagement marketing company based in Seattle, Washington. And our engagement team basically came up with this idea last fall um, to figure out a way how Toyota could go out and help promote farmers markets across the country. Um, so we basically all got into a room and huddled over a couple of months and um, worked with Toyota to come up with this idea to engage people within the community by bringing local chefs together to the farmers market. Um, and it's all part of our eco feeling because we're also, when we go to the farmers market, we're also talking about the eco friendly vehicles that we have within the. Um, the Prius and the Highlander. Excellent. I also noticed that you used recycled and recyclable materials for the plates and the spoons mm -hmm. and everything. The spoons, interestingly, are made out of potato. Correct. They seem like they're plastic, but they actually are biodegradable. Correct. And I've seen a little bit of that coming around here in town, but this mm -hmm. is the biggest use of it I've seen here in town, so I hope other people get the idea from you. Yeah, we make sure that everything that as much as we can, um, whether it's plates, napkins, forks, spoons, cups, everything is biodegradable, including our recycle cans. So basically, because everything goes back, uh, we want to recycle everything, make everything as green as friendly as we right. possibly can, including, for example, our backdrop is also is made up of a certain material that is equal friendly as well. Excellent. That's very good. So what has the response been across the country? I, I mean, here it's fantastic, obviously, but have you had equal success? In, in other parts of the country. Yeah, it's been, um, for us, it's been exciting and absolutely overwhelming for all the markets that we've gone to. Uh, we originally started off with uh, three test markets uh, in March in Austin, Santa Barbara, and Marin County. Um, and the reception that we got there let us know that this was something that we needed to take national. Excellent. So it looks like you're picking smaller venues. You know, a lot of people, when we first heard about this, we thought, oh, well, the big cities will get this. Mm -hmm. And that's not what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. what, what makes you choose these farmer's markets, these particular ones? We try to look for farmer's market that are really community-based farmer's market, um, making sure that the produce um, that the farmers are using are not being like flown in from someplace else, they're actually being grown within that region or that community. Uh, <clears throat> Toyota's like a, it's kind of like a family and basically things that we like to do, we just want to make sure that it involves the community uh, and that, you know, because basically, you know, we're giving back to the community, we're making a donation to the farmer's market. Um, and also hopefully introducing new people that has never been to the farmer's market as well. So I, I know that that's, that's the case because I just talked to some of the farmers that I worked with mm -hmm. in my food uh, production and they've seen lots of people they haven't seen before and they're selling out of produce items that I and a couple of other chefs have used. Mm -hmm. So you have actually done a really good job of bringing people in who might not necessarily have shopped here before but I think once they've shopped here once, they're going to come back. Right. So I think it's it's actually a win-win situation for everybody. Right. It's an amazing idea, and I have to thank you very much for it. <laughs> no, thank you. Because uh, Athens, this this was just great. It's not something you think of mm -hmm. in a small town. I mean, we are a college town, right? But we are a small town in southeastern Ohio. Right. We're not Cleveland. We're not Cincinnati. We're not Columbus. Right. So it's pretty cool to see something like this happen here. Good. Yeah, we really enjoy it, and, and I'm sure that we're going to be doing this again next year. So uh, we'll take a look at the markets again, reevaluate to see where we want to go to. Um, but definitely, this was a great stop for us. Great. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Farm to Table event at the Athens Farmers Market with Kevin Hurst, the 
executive chef at Latitude 39 at OU. And I'd like to know what you did for the Farm to Table event. What did you cook? We and did, uh, uh, who did you partner with? We partnered with King Family Farms, Calvary Farms, and Green Edge Gardens. And we did a uh, barbecue uh, pulled pork with a Cabernet Heirloom tomato Cabernet barbecue sauce. We had a heirloom uh, cherry tomato and basil salad and uh, fresh flatbread. It was Excellent. fantastic. Excellent. Really well. Very good, very good. Have you heard from the farmers? Did they uh, yeah, get a actually, little bump I, in sales? Yes, they did. I was just actually yeah. over at Green Edge and she, everything went great. She said yep. it was fantastic. There's a lot, of, a lot of people that they've never seen before. So Great. So That's the whole fantastic. point of this, of this yeah. exercise. Yeah. And uh, I know that the rabbit with Marsala that I did, the rabbits sold out at Harmony Hollow and the mushrooms sold out at Green Edge. So I think we did a great job. Good.